Back when I was a little kid, when I was like five or six maybe, I remember going over to my friend's house to play Goat Simulator on his Xbox a lot. Which eventually led me to buying the game years later, and I loved that game so much. And once I heard Goat Simulator 3 getting announced, I was super excited. Except I didn't have a PS5 when it released, but now I do, so now I can. So I decided to get its Platinum Trophy. So, to start off with this Platinum, there are three stages to get through. Stage 1 is beating the story, which I was honestly super surprised to see. Stage 2 is getting the miscellaneous trophies. And the last stage is getting all the collectibles, which honestly sucked, which you'll see why later. But honestly, saying that this game has a story is an overstatement because all it really is is just completing side quests to make your goat tower bigger. So I'll talk about everything just without that part, so here's those trophies. I will show one specifically though. Now, get out of I watched the intro. Now. Forgotten Sorority. Yo. <clears throat> Just upgraded. Interesting. Private Club. Ooh. Huh? Rogue Guild, baby. Con Covert Consortium. Secret Society. Next door is unlocked, baby. Whoa. What is this? Freaking Crystal from like that one Marvel mobile game? Shadow Syndicate. A leap of faith, it looks like. Like that one Hello Neighbor part of the game. Guess not, though. A new goat order. New goat order. You know what? Oh, I don't have to. A game by Coffee Stain. Awesome, can I skip through this, please? Oh. We gotta go in the Shrek mobile. Let's go. The banana guy, rip. Rip. Let's go! Don't touch the servers. Press any key to continue. With that done, you'd probably expect me to get every miscellaneous trophy in the game next, and you're right, but I also worked on the collectibles at the same time, and believe it or not, that's every other trophy in this game. Which I explain all of them along the way, so if I explained it here, I would just be explaining it twice. So here's the trophies. And there's a lot of them. Goat Queen. Summon your goat army. Oh, cool. Oh, it's this again from Goat Simulator 1. Like, we have to, like, sacrifice all that weird stuff and then... Alright. Alright, next one. Synchronization complete. That's every single tower done. Raider of the Lost Parking Garage. Uh, okay, I didn't even open it, but cool. I just wanted to mention, if you guys think I sound dead inside in this clip, it's because I kind of am, and I will be in pretty much all the clips, and that's because when I was playing this game, I had a fever and a double ear infection, so yeah, that kind of sucked. With the freaking dwarves? Bro. Dil- What? Dude, I hate Lord of the Rings. But this is actually kind of a cool reference, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, I do appreciate it. As much as I hate it. Alright, can you let me get in? Alright, so I'm guessing I just jump down. First, you can jump down. And I fall through this time. Into the Matrix. What does the Matrix have to do with any of this? This also looks like where you find Voldemort after he dies. With uh, Dumbledore as well. But what does the Matrix have any- Is this actually that one Matrix thing? You know what? I'm very confused now. Dilbo's journey. I'm now a wizard, so that's cool. Thanks, Dilbo. <laughs> Yo. Mmm. Oh, 
Dude, these guys spin packs, bro. Wow. Beauty, fitness, mindfulness, and meditation. Walking the beach in slow motion. Let's go. Who bay watches the bay watch? Yay, we got it. Let's keep going, Shrek. Go. Egg simulator. I can turn into a freaking egg? Yo. What a waste of money. Crocs. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so. I was checking that map thing, and it said there was like some weird goat thingy, like around there i want to say so let's go ahead and go there i'm not so sure what it is all right i looked it up and it says we need to bow to get in so let's go ahead and do so bow boom black market buy loot box for 500 what does it do I'm not gonna let go. Armor, baby. Is that all you sell? Out of stock. Okay. Good. No, maybe I missed something. Oh, no. That is all I needed. Let's go. Oh, I made it. Club Mohar. Got some dancing hair. Nice. Okay, so the next one, we need to go to Libertaria Island. So, we need to come here. Oh, I need to go to roughly here. Yo! Is this Jesus? Santa Nargra become a human. Dude, is this just Jesus? Alright, so the next one is over there. Let's go. Let's grab ourselves a car, boys. Let's go! Car cave. Uh. Oh, is this like the bat cave or something? Can of banana, baby. Yo. Homegrown chicken. Freshly made eggs. Alright, so. I think we just made it back to Philip's place. Well, almost. Yeah, it was right here. Small tiny house, boy. A center for ants? Am I able to, like, go in this house? Yo! Yo, real buoy, belly of the beast. What is this, that one God of War thing or something? There we go. Boom. There. Yo. Wow. 
welcome to Earth, boys. Reach the stratosphere. Alright, can I go in the UFO now? Okay, everybody, so we're going to be going for the miscellaneous trophies. And for the very first one, I don't know. Let's just go to the gas station here. It'll be right there. I'm going to teleport over here. Run my way down, teleport back. Bro, what? Oh, you have to stand under his butt. There. Nasty. Did bro just take a dump on me? Okay, everybody. So for the next one, what I need to do uh, is I need to go over here, I believe. And I have to be naked. So what I need to do to be able to do that is I can't play as a Ninja Turtle or a Shrek. I need to be wearing the birthday suit, so let's go ahead and buy it. And it is right here. Let's go ahead and equip it. Run naked on the football field! Streaking. Boom. Look at that cake, buddy. Okay, so for the next one, this is what I've this is what I could have done probably a really long time ago. If you remember, which by the way, let me get it on my turtle skin. If you remember. On the back of me, I unlocked a grandma that can shoot people, the caring thing. She has her own correlated trophy by shooting other grandmas. So, let's go ahead and go there and shoot a grandma. Boom. 401 KO. Stupid freaking grandma, bro. Alright, everybody. So, this is not a secret mission that you need to do in the game. However, it has a little secret thing to do. Have you ever seen the movie It? then you're gonna recognize this instantly once we go. It's literally just a IT reference. I've actually seen that movie before and it is freaking scary. I always said in my comment section when people ask me to do horror games that I won't because I'm terrified of horror. And um, yeah, people would say it is the most unscary movie of all time. Well, I found it scary, so I disagree. Oh, we need to go down here. Here is it, the clown. Where is it? In it reference. I don't know why, but I was actually kind of scared of this. Uh, I really, really hate it. I hate any horror movie. I just explained this earlier, but I don't know if I'll include it in the video. But I cannot handle horror. Uh, it scares me too much. Even it scared me, bro. That should say something, because it's often considered not scary at all. Okay, so for the next one, this one is actually kind of confusing. Now I need to find the uh, side quest. Okay, I need to go there, and I need to equip the Fashionista thingy. Um, it's like the thing where you put clothes on people. Uh, I don't know exactly where this. All right, good, good to see we found it. All right, so here's the Bigfoot lady. We need to go ahead and unequip the rocket shoes because that'll make me go crazy. Anyways, give her some shoes. Croc Squatch. Alright guys, so for the next one, I need to lick a giant donut. It says it's a croissant, but it really isn't a croissant, obviously. Like, it says lick the giant croissant, but it's literally just a donut. We need to click- we need to lick this. It says lick the giant croissant. Obviously, this is just the Homer donut, but gold. So I need to lick it. Oh, now can I lick it? There. French Fika. Yeah, I don't know why it says croissant, because it's literally just the Homer donut, but okay. Okay, so it says play as redacted. The redacted is actually this guy, the Abominama. And next, we need to wear the redacted fur, which is the eggplant. Then we need to equip all the other eggplant stuff, I guess. Uh, I don't really know what it is. I guess I'll figure it out in a second. Redacted. It's literally just the eggplant. And uh, this is, uh. I think they knew what they were doing when making this. I mean, they even let you put a shell on your freaking private, bro. Come on now. I need to redecorate the 
an entire goat tower, and this was something I thought I already did. But it says, move that bus, so I'm guessing there's new stuff I can redecorate. But, from last I checked, I already, uh, did, so. Here, I'll even count. I'll start from the bottom and count up the ones I've already changed. Because there's 25. Oh, maybe I need to change this one again. Oh, move that bus. Finally, bro, that was freaking stupid. Now, with all those trophies shown done, I only had collectible trophies left, not just specific collectible trophies though. So I had four collectible things left. And thankfully, the first two were crazy fast and simple. The first one was he needed to find four movie tapes and bring them to a movie theater. Yup, that's it. Brown, brown. Certified fresh. Can you go in there? Oh, it's already in. I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah, that's all the trophy was, which is actually really nice. The last quick one was going off every stunt in the game. By the time I went to do this, I only had five left. So I got this done pretty quickly. Get ourselves another trophy, guys. Woo! Woo! Okay. Let's go find ourselves another trophy, ladies and gentlemen. Daredevil. Let's go. We got them all, baby. Now that the nice, fun ones were done, pain started. I now had to get every goat trophy or trinkets, and by the time I started, I had 101. Which meant I had to get another 99. This took a very long time, and it was very boring as they were all just in some random places with nothing fun about them. Then 18. Okay. Let's go get our... Um... Last one. And, uh, yeah, we'll be all, uh, good to go, baby. I think this is our last one, so... Pretty exciting. Bam! Oh, shoot. Boom! Try hard, two. And... I can now poo. I now have the ability to poop. Let's go, guys. <laughs> oh, what the fetch is this game, bro? As you could probably tell from that clip, it sounded like I was about to stick a bullet in my head, which shows how long and boring that process was, but it gets worse. Much worse. The next trophy is finishing every instinct, which I only had roughly 60 left, but they took much longer as the instincts is by doing tricks or committing certain actions towards people, which I will show you what that is. But the worst thing that I had to do was make a scarecrow dance, which you get from doing a side quest, but I already did it. So I checked on Reddit to see where to find them, and people said just run around the world until you find one. So I spent over an hour trying to find it, and I had no luck, so I thought it was bugged, but as it turns out, that person lied. They only spawn at one point in the game after you complete the side quest, and that's at a basketball court, and nowhere else. So I wasted all that time from a guy that lied on Reddit. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy shoot. Oh. No way, bro. It's finally fetch and done, dude. Holy crap. Oh, that took forever. Oh my gosh. There. Absolutely stunning. Boom. You trusted your instincts. And goat. Holy fetch and crap. Um uh, look at that booty. Okay. Uh, we did it. Holy crap. That was so awful. And once the video's out, you'll see why. I'm sure you already saw why. The fetching instincts was so dumb. But we did it! We finally 
did it guys. Those instincts were truly a mind-numbing experience. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm happy to actually get a platinum video out, but I'll have to take another break because of my stupid thumb, which I already mentioned a hundred times. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.